Welcome to the Common Game Tutorials. Today we'd like to show you some of the features of your personal results page. There are two ways you can get to this page. Most often you will get here by clicking on the link that is emailed to you each week in the Common Game Fast Results email as shown here. If you're not already receiving this email and would like to sign up, please watch our short tutorial entitled Player Sign Up. The second way to get to your personal results page is to go to the Common Game homepage. As we are here, type in your ACBL number here in the white box on the upper right hand side of the page and hit Login. Here with his permission, we're looking at Craig Hemphill's personal results. The page opens to the Attendance tab, which displays your current month to date attendance information. Looking across the top of the white box, you'll see all the information tabs that are available to you. Your outstanding rewards, if any, your attendance, your positional results, declare play versus double dummy, and information about your prior games. Let's first look at attendance. Here you'll see several columns of information. First we have boards and date. This shows the dates of the games that you've played so far this month. Following one of these dates across the box, next you'll see where you played that game, who you played with, the percent you scored against the common game field, where you ranked in the field, the common game points earned, if any, your section percent at the club, and your ACBL master points earned. Notice that if you hold your cursor let it hover over the column header, you'll get a little pop-up reminder as to what each of those column headers is. This is a helpful feature that works for most of the headers throughout the website. This last column shows your power ranking handicap for that game. Most of us are familiar with the concept of handicaps and how they're used to level a playing field. Well, what we do here is similar. So, for example, if your handicap is minus 6.9, you're expected on average to score a 56.9% game. So, if you score a 60% gross, your net is 53.1% against the field. You can find a more complete explanation of the handicap in our FAQ section. The handicap listed will be used to determine your percentage for the common game's handicapped or net game, the results of which will run side by side the regular game. This is another contest we hope will enrich the experience for our players and hope to add in the near future. Okay, let's go back and look at some of these things in more detail. In the Boards and Date column, if you click on any one of those dates, you will see a complete board summary for that game. This page shows both your club and your common game results for that day. So here, Craig scored a 64.91% at the club, and he scored a 63.93% against the larger common game field. Please note that this club percent may differ from the section percent that's reported by your club if there were multiple sections that day, since the common game match points your score across all the sections. Below that are the board summary table, which shows the full results against both fields, board by board. One of the most valuable features of this page is the ability to sort the information contained in each of the columns by clicking on the arrows to the right of each of the column headers. So for example, if you wanted to see which boards you scored well on at the club, you would go to the column entitled Percent versus Club and click on the arrow. This sorts the boards from best to worst. If you wanted to reverse the results, you would just click the arrow again and the data is resorted. All the columns are sortable in this way. This new feature allows you to quickly and easily view your results in the way most convenient and meaningful to you, giving you a better insight into your play. Then if you'd like to zero in on one of those boards, simply click on the board number, which brings up the hand record and any pro analysis that was done for that hand. The blue tile indicates that Pro Analysis is available for that hand. Returning to the original personal results page, the second column indicates where you played that particular game. Clicking on the club name brings up that club's page for the common game. 
Here you can find the month-to-date common game stats for the players from that club, along with their photo if available. Just let your cursor hover over their name. Notice that these columns also have the sort feature available. Again, going back to your personal results page, the third place you can find additional information is in the field rank column. If you click on one of these ranks, it brings up the top 20 rankings page for that game, which shows the top 20 pairs for each direction, along with the full results and the hand records for each of the boards. Again, just click on the board number that you'd like to see. Back to the personal results page. As you can see, there is a lot of information available to you just in this first box. And these columns as well are sortable like the others. If you want to see this information for games you've played in previous months, just click on the prior games tab and all the same information is available to you. To learn about the information presented in the other three tabs, please watch Part B of this tutorial entitled Personal Results Page Part 2 Analytics. We hope this has been helpful and we thank you for playing the common game.